The Zero Bow Sight is designed to make your hunt or target shooting easier than ever. In this video, you'll learn how to set it up directly to your bow. Mounting and trigger installation is first. Basically put two AAA lithium batteries into the device. This is gonna give you over a year of battery life in all weather. Then choose any of the three pairs of mounting holes and provided screws to attach the device directly to your bow. You will then use the provided tape to mount the trigger in front of your bow's grip. Avoid the shelf when securing the cable so it does not interfere with your shot. This is very key because that's going to be where you're always doing your ranging, which will help you locate those pins faster. Now, while holding the bow extended from your body to simulate a full draw position, check that you can see easily through the optic. Now, this is a key point. If needed, adjust the vertically curved dovetail so that you can see through the sight easily. The next step is the calibration. When you turn on your device for the first time, you're going to be choosing between yards and meters. Next, you're going to want to adjust your pin brightness. Now know this, the zero will apply your preferences based on the amount of light in your specific shooting environment. The primary LED is next. You need to adjust your primary LED used to aim the laser rangefinder. I personally and everybody else recommend setting this pin in for about 20 yards or 18 meters. But if you shoot long distances, you can set it up for 30 yards or 27 meters. Know this, the range you select will not affect your ability to range game targets out to 100 yards. Another key point is the pitch and yaw. Use the pitch and yaw adjustments to align the aiming reticle to your eye. When the reticle comes on, line up the primary LED, which is the red dot, with the center circle. The arrows indicate small adjustments you need to make to the sight position. Next up, when you're at full draw, you should only see the primary pin in the middle of the aiming reticle. Move the body of the sight the same way you want the LED to move in relation to the circle. The zero will ask you to make sure your primary LED still shoots properly. Make any horizontal or vertical adjustments, then check your reticle alignment and adjust it if necessary. Once you have set your first range, step back 10 yards and follow the exact same process again. Zero will ask you if you want to use that range to calibrate. I suggest shooting a few arrows at this distance. Zero will ask you if you hit the target. If you didn't, enter the information Zero asked for and the pin will adjust. This is very important as I've spent a lot of time practicing with this bow. What I found is making those adjustments is going to really pay off when it comes time for that shot of a lifetime or when you're target shooting. Step back another 10 yards and follow the exact same process again until you're comfortable with that group that you're shooting. Set up as many ranges as you want. Make sure you calibrate out to your maximum range. I actually have a pin set to 82 yards right now. Then go into the hunt mode. In hunt mode, press and hold the trigger button, which will turn the reticle and primary LED on. Line them up and continue to hold the trigger to take a range measurement. The pin needed to shoot, that distance will appear. On the screen, you'll see the line of sight distance on the left, the true horizontal distance in the middle, and the angle of the shot is on the right. Now, if you've set up any fixed pins, you can see them quickly by tapping the trigger. Your pins will blink for five seconds before timing out. Just tap the trigger to keep them on or to bring them back up when they do time out. To set your pin timeout length, it's very simple. Go to settings, pins, then hunt timeout or practice timeout, depending on which one you want to change. Now check out all the other videos in this series to learn more about the Garmin Zero Bowsight.